Relisa, you must take a test of f sheer physical ability. <laughs> Boulders! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Rob gets to fight this boss again, as you saw in the end of the last episode. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the first time. <laughs> So once again, even though it was only two episodes, I think, once again, it's been quite a few weeks since we recorded. So, Rob's gonna have some growing pains. <laughs> what, you mean I wasn't supposed to walk right in the straight line where he was dropping <laughs> those rocks? Get over here. So I'm guessing this episode's gonna air when after Mass Effect actually finishes, because I'm gonna air the other two in between the two Alundras. Okay. For the other two episodes in between the two Mass Effects. Mm. So I hope everybody enjoyed Rob's journey through Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh fine. <laughs> I had something I was going to say about Mass Effect and I can't remember what it was now. Hey guys, Alien sure is weird, huh? <laughs> I'm so eager for you to play 3. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward Just to it. all the pros and all the cons. <laughs> 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 that was a dead-on hit! <laughs> this guy spent the past few weeks practicing so it wouldn't go the same as last time. <laughs> yeah, Lundra's concussed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would help or hinder for this kind of game, but I can make it so that the joystick is the D-pad. Um, I, I don't think it makes that much difference. No, I've just never liked Sony's D-pads. Mm. I honestly, like, I mean, I play a lot on a 360, so this <laughs> is heaven. <laughs> that is true. This is the best D-pad I've used all day. <laughs> I always liked the Xbox 360's D-pad for fighting games. Because I found it was really? very easy to roll it in different combos. Hmm. But... Yeah, for... I don't know. Any other situation I ever personally encountered, it was not great. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't help that... I think I, like, misaligned the D-pad last time I had to take the controller apart. Oh? Yeah. I didn't think you could. Is it actually different under the hood than normal D-pads? I thought it was just That's the outer plastic. That's a great question for someone who has looked at other D-pads. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google what it looks like when you take a 360 controller apart. <laughs> like, it, mostly I just notice in, a uh, 2K10. Because you, like, hit up and down to change lines. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, left and right to change, like, strategies. And so every so often I go to, like, change my forward line, and it's like, Oh, do you want a full-out attack? Or whatever. Hmm. No, I don't want Xbox One. Still is the like the four uh, power junction sort of points, and then the rubber membrane. Yeah, yeah. I think I just like the membrane might be a little crooked. Oh, I guess that's possible. Yeah. But I mean, that's like the only game where I ever have to use the D-pad, really. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, actually, that seemed to go a lot better with the flail. I think the flail must do way more damage, but it's slower. Hmm. I did. I've also noticed it has a lot more range. Hmm. Defeated the shrine protector. For the second time. <laughs> he ain't protecting no shrine. And now to press this pad on the controller. <laughs> Okay, I think left was the way to progress. Oh, okay. There's a door on each side. Right was how you got in here. Mm. I think I made this joke last time, but what if that was just the mid-boss? <laughs> he sure was a mid-boss. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Shrine Protector fell off. I have no idea if it was a joke in the actual original Disgaea, but I remember years and years and years ago, I watched the Disgaea anime mm -hmm. that told the same, basically the same story as the first game. Yeah. To my understanding anyway, but uh, there was an enemy that they insulted by just calling him a mid-boss. <laughs> Damn, is that... Is that why kids started calling things mid? Because of Disgaea? <laughs> because of <laughs> Titan of 21st century youth pop culture Disgaea? <laughs> oh, this was another one of the hit the switch and things fall. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember we, we got to this last time. Yeah. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to do it four times? I guess. Okay, that works. I suppose you could leave a bomb by the switch, too. Yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Was that it? Are they not gonna fall anymore? There was a beep. Yeah, let's see. Nope. Oh, okay. I imagine there is a finite number, but... I imagine it would just be a matter of leaving the room and coming back. Probably. Ah! Yeah, it's dropping four balls now. Oh, okay. That would just go up and come back in. It, my guess is it'll be three barrels, and then you stand on the fourth pad, but... Mm. Actually, that might not make sense, because you probably need them to stay illuminated. Well, it might be that you just need to have, like, all four illuminated to open it. Mm. And then after that, you're good. That's true. <laughs> ah, worms. <laughs> Since when were there worms in this dungeon? My dog, Bolin, is sniffing Rog's... Rob's... Rog's... <laughs> sniffing Rob's legs. Hey, guys, it's me, Rog. <laughs> and it just reminded me of a long time ago I was editing, uh... The, uh, In Other Waters episodes you and Nathan did. There's a point where Nathan just starts talking about Bolin, and then you pointed out, Bolin is Tom's dog, not just some man in the room. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, he, like, there was no distinction made. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, he just suddenly was like, hey, Bolin. <laughs> oh, look at Bolin licking everything. <laughs> Sniffing around. <laughs> Oh, that oh. works. I can just stand in the holes. Unless you get your head kicked in. <laughs> I, it's fine. Yeah. Fine, maybe I'll just go to the other side. Nah. Yeah. Hooray! I was paying very close attention to the order that time in case it was scripted. Mm. And then I didn't need to. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I obviously you need something to drop in there. Maybe you have to jump over the holes? Maybe. I'll I bet you you do, and if you fall, you end up down there. Oh, that could be it. Let's try that. Just so I'm not fighting those guys any more than I need to. <laughs> well, probably helps if you actually hit the jump button. 
Is there health in those bar barrels? There might be. <clears throat> hey, hey, those are my fucking barrels! <laughs> Don't break my barrel on my own head. Piece of shit. Man, haven't you ever been burgled before? There is health. <laughs> no, he's gonna get it! <laughs> Imagine if the enemies could pick up the health. That'd be cruel. <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of what they can do in a uh, Sheeran games. I guess so. They can, like, fight each other and then level up. I really want to play one of those games, like... Mm. I, the only time I have any experience with it is editing you and Nathan playing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's I... timed. Yeah. That's all right. There's nothing we've learned. It's wait. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. If there's anything we've learned, <laughs> yeah. Rob's great at. Platforming. And platforming in this, like, top-down, quasi-isometric view. <laughs> well, let's, let's see if there's more health in here. <laughs> the slow, lumbering ogres. <laughs> Get away from those stairs. You don't know how to use them. <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> Now I'm sad I brought up that Bolin's my dog, because I really want to... Wow, Bolin's really going to town on that peanut butter tube. <laughs> <laughs> Just some homeless guy in ratty old clothes. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I heard the click went, uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder how long this game actually is. I feel like these dungeons got pretty complex really fast. Yeah. Go to the left first, I think. Oh, you have to. There's a block there. Again. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, so you're gonna have to hit the switch and then go through that. Mmm, okay. Yeah. Go, go, go. Poo. Oh, Poo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, I didn't I clue did in it. that that was the shadow. <laughs> I did it, and then it closes right in front of you. <laughs> Falls right on your head. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna be a gauntlet. Okay, well... Let's see. I'm sad you never got to see Coffee Girl. I'll just start a- Oh no, no. I'll just start a new file and see if, uh, if I can get that scene and then I can show it to you. Because mm. I think I know when it would have been now. Oh, okay. I think it would have been after the Monkey Dungeon, but before you went in the crypt. Mm. But we just went straight to the graveyard. We didn't go in people's houses. Because <laughs> when you finished the crypt, she was already asleep. Right. <laughs> well. <laughs> I was just about to make a joke like, Oh, look at me leap over these gaps. I'm a leaping lizard. <laughs> I'm a regular frogger. <laughs> frogger, eat your heart out. <laughs> frogger, you wanna... You wanna get some dinner later? <laughs> <laughs> frogger, why don't you show me what's on the other side of that road? <laughs> well, you bend me over a barrel and show me the 50 states. <laughs> 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 50 states? How many are there? Yeah, I mean, there is 50, I just... Oh. It, was that like a conceit of Frogger that there was something <laughs> special about 50 states? No, I just, I just watched, uh... 
uh, horrible bosses, and that's a joke in that movie. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that was the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you gentlemen later. <laughs> There it is. Guys, I found the open doorway. I walked through the open doorway. <laughs> I did it. It actually, it surprises me quite a bit how, how much you struggle with the perspective of this game. Mm -hmm. But I wonder just how many, I wonder just how many games of this exact perspective I've played relative to you <laughs> that make it, like I don't, I don't have that problem with depth the way that you do. Mm. And I'm just curious if there's a reason well, I mean, like, that case, the doorway was, like, right behind my little icons in the top there. Yeah. But there's been times where, like, different elevations are there. And to me, I don't have a problem, but you seem to. Hmm. I'm just so... I'm, I'm oh. fascinated by that, like... I don't know if you would call it, like, a psychology study or whatever, but that kind of perspective of... Some, something as different as, uh, like, you you having a Genesis and I having a Super Nintendo meant I played, inadvertently played more games of a particular type than you did, and in our adult lives that translates to different motor functions. That kind of thing I'm just fascinated by. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'd necessarily, it's like, necessarily say it's, like, motor functions, just, it, it is, like, definitely a cognitive thing. Yeah. You know, it's... I mean, it's not the exact same, like, mechanism, but it's sort of similar to the idea of, like, color constancy. What's that? Uh, basically, it's, like... So, the idea that even with different light sources, because, like, different light sources are going to be reflected differently by the same object, the, uh... Like, the wavelengths of light that are actually hitting your oh. retina are different. Oh, okay. But your brain will see them the same way. Just because you kind of have, like, that internal idea of, you know, how stuff looks under certain light and how different things look. Like, mm. the one example I saw was, you know, it's a photo of, like, this bowl of strawberries in sort of blue-green light. Okay. And you recognize, oh, yeah, those are, like, red strawberries, even though there isn't a single red pixel in the image. Oh. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. But yeah, like, it's just, you know, what you're trained to recognize in certain environments. Hmm. If you want, you can save state. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be a real gamer. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to fall right down that hole <laughs> <laughs> right after saying that. This one's dirty. <laughs> oh, I was almost there. I feel like that's something we've lost in game design. They're like, here's a little trick. Now here's the trick a little harder. Nah. Now here it is a little harder. Mm. Now here it is a lot harder. And you can't progress unless you do it. <laughs> You're full health. Oh, yeah, I am. I hate that health bar. <laughs> I hate how that works. <laughs> Just make it a bar or make it like 14 out of 14. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really mind it. Well, you're wrong. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me. I just I feel like I have to pause the game and like calculate what my health is because I gotta manually count it out. Mm. Whereas if it's just a number out of a number or just like a health bar, I know like oh I got a third of my health. Go go go. All oh, right, it's well <laughs> that thing we were just talking about. <laughs> You formed a new habit. <laughs> At least there's no enemies you have to deal with while doing this. Yeah. And now that I've said that, that's absolutely going to come up later in the game. That's <laughs> yeah, going to be like the very next room. 
Every time a block rises up, it reveals like one of those ogres underneath. <laughs> 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 and the time limit's shorter. <laughs> and the PlayStation pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and the lead designer of Alundra breaks into your house and starts beating the shit out of you. <laughs> you have to fight him for the gun. <laughs> oh, I jumped right in there. <laughs> Let me know when you're fed up with it and I'll give it a try. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think what one of the reasons why I kept reflecting reflexively getting health whenever I drop down. Mm. I'm used to, like, the pits in Brogue, where you lose, like, half your health every time you fall down one. Oh. Do you have to fall down a pit to progress? No, you, you... Usually you can... You just, like, go down the stairs. Oh. You can choose to jump in pits, and sometimes you don't have a choice because the floor will just disappear under your feet. Mm. Right, that's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I have returned. <gasps> My god. I don't know if I fast forwarded or just jump cut ahead. I have no idea unless Rob made a funny haha -ha while I was gone. No, I, I don't think I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all the way back when you and I played, uh, um, Twilight Princess. <laughs> there was a point where I left because we ordered a pizza and the pizza delivery guy showed up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, oh, Rob, uh, make jokes, I'll be right back. And you turned it into, like, a whole thing about you rehearsing your mime routine. <laughs> <laughs> Whew! Yeah! That scared me, I heard the click. <laughs> okay, now that's... Oh, okay, so that's just for the door. Sweet. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. Are you guys mimes? Yes, I am your king. Oh, this guy's <laughs> the king. Fuck, move over, guy. I challenge you. Out of that chair, jester. The king sits there. <laughs> this is all you, Rob. All right. You have proven your courage. <laughs> you have proven your courage in coming here back, man. <laughs> However, courage alone shall not end in salvation. You must also be a strong warrior. Fuck you, I'm strong. <laughs> you shall face a test of strength, Release her. I pray that you are truly strong enough to succeed. I think the Michelin Man might really have been a mini boss. Mm. He's releasing the bees. <laughs> well, is that implying that? Oh, maybe they're not ogres; they're all zombies. Oh, maybe. But they're so big. Maybe, maybe I'm just hallucinating. Oh, right use your now. use your scroll. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that <was fun>. Damn. <laughs> Lisa, you must take a test of f sheer physical ability. <laughs> Boulders! <laughs> I call upon you, God of Stone! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we made that joke a million times in, um, in, uh, Golden Sun. Mm. But it- imagine being just the bandit that decides to rob a bunch of kids and it's the kids that are masters of the four elements. <laughs> I call the power of Jupiter down <laughs> upon you, knave! <laughs> no, please, you can have your two gold! <laughs> I just wanted that hat! <laughs> <laughs> That's a game we need to get back to. Yeah. We only stopped because I was tired of playing every game in isolation. <laughs> and then when we started recording in person again, we went back to Mass Effect. Yeah. And then we played Alundra because we wanted to play Alundra. <laughs> and you can't stop us. <laughs> Prey has not been doing good on the channel. <laughs> but Jordan and I are committed. 
Unfortunately, it's a really long game, so I expect it's probably gonna have like 80 episodes. Mm -hmm. Just die already. Die, sage! <laughs> die, noble sage! <laughs> oh, that's... Let's get that. Yeah, I was convinced they were just like... <sighs> mummy ogres, but I guess they must be zombies. Mutant zombies. Because those people look normal until this. <laughs> Just for that, you get three that time. <laughs> and then I miss a couple times. <laughs> it's all about balance. And now you! <laughs> Look how he's holding up his staff just like you are. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I got all the zombies killed by <laughs> using this elf! <laughs> I'm bone. <laughs> Skelly, you're back. You are truly worthy of the power you possess. <laughs> you have freed me from my fleshy curse. Your courage shall not go unrewarded. Vomits up. <laughs> some sort of... Vomits up those chests. <laughs> Takes a long time for each one. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a sword. Yeah. Maybe we can dual wield now. <laughs> dual wield. <laughs> long boots, but we had shoes. <laughs> but these are long boots with high heels. <laughs> They're thigh high. <laughs> Alundra, what are you wearing? <laughs> yeah, you go back to the town and, like, the guy... <laughs> Alundra, what are you wearing? They're sacred thigh highs, okay? <laughs> I was told I needed them to save the world. <laughs> but why the miniskirt? Because <laughs> I just look so cute. <laughs> go to your pause menu. Very carefully hit just start. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it just overrode your old sword. I guess. It must just be a... <sighs> oh, it must just be a stronger sword now. <laughs> I wonder what the point of the boots is. Yeah, I don't know. Charge by holding square? Did we do that before? I don't know. Try it, see what it does. Yeah. We could not. Unless we just never did this. <laughs> I'm going Super Saiyan! <laughs> I'm not even going to attack. I'll just walk around like this all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, villag- Oh! Okay. Don't worry, villagers. This is just how I look now. <laughs> I thought you were here to get, like, another- Oh, there's more. Uh. You have to get, like, an earth- uh, You have the earth crystal. You need to get, like, a different crystal. Mm. Or not. Huh. Was that whole dungeon just to get that sword? Maybe. Oh, maybe, like, we get the... the thing somewhere else? There's Bones Man. <gasps> Bones Man. A human skeleton lies half buried in the sand. The medallion around his neck says simply, Paul. <laughs> 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 the bones have been picked clean by scavengers and bleached white by the sun. <laughs> Clutched in one hand is a weathered scrap of parchment. Oh. The ancient scroll says, in barely visible, barely legible handwriting, <laughs> Northwest is a hidden shrine in which the blessed one can bring sand and heart closer. Ah, that's probably the hint we needed before we got the cape. Probably. <laughs> so... Is that it here? I guess it is. Oh. There was, yeah, there was a way out on the left, I think. 
Look at this idiot. I'm stuck. Not even going. Yeah, these guys. These guys, like, but mummified is what I thought the other things were. Mm. Oh, it must be up there. Yeah, I think so. Hey! Ow. Hey! Fucking worm. Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh yeah, you can sand cape under there now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. <laughs> where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, yeah, he can leave. <laughs> no, maybe he's just short. The shortest man alive. <laughs> oh, it's up there. That's the exit on the left on top of this. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, now down. In there, yeah. You gotta use the sand cape. Oh, right. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, no, the desert duck won't let me. <laughs> the desert duck. <laughs> Good thing we're leaving. <laughs> Sure is boring <laughs> around here. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, the bridge. Oh, yeah? Because I think you're on the east side of the overall world map. Mm. The village is in, like, the center. Okay. We'll go to the village and talk to... What's his name? Tess? I feel like that... Oh, like the guy that kind of adopted us? Yeah. I think it's Jess. Jess. We'll go talk to him and see if we did what we had to do. Yeah. I don't remember what we were dispatched to do in that temple. <laughs> well, Jess, I killed everyone in the temple, just like you asked me to. You killed the king? What? The monastery? <laughs> <laughs> Full of our most peace-loving monks? <laughs> What's this place? The medallion. Rare articles and fanciful curiosities for the discerning. <laughs> Gentlemen's special interests. <laughs> oh, you can buy a heart piece. Yeah. Merrick! <gasps> hey, kid! I'm amazed you survived the shipwreck. <laughs> the shipwreck. <laughs> Shipwreck is my brother. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd land on your feet, for I am Merrick! <laughs> what am I doing here? I invested the treasure from my years of adventure into this shop. One very near fatal shipwreck is all I needed to make me think long and hard about it. A career change. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I talk faster than the words appear in front of my eyes. What? <laughs> well, kid, aren't you going to buy something? <laughs> buy something, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> I think you gotta put it on the table next to him. I, I think so. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> I festival, so that's a 10,000 gilder. Say yes. Aww. I just need a loan from a loan shark. You're me. <laughs> You're making me nervous, Pharaoh! As you should be! Did it work? I I don't know. If you go back in. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> I I know there are some games where you can like steal, but the shopkeeper will kick your ass later. Yeah. Oh. No, he alright, fine. Be what are that the way. other things. Let's see. Are you proposing? <laughs> Olga's ring, eh? That's pretty nice, but it's gonna cost you dearly. I'll say... Is everything 10,000 Gilder? Let's see what happens if I do say yes. 
kid. Either you're trying to be quite funny and succeeding, <laughs> or just being trying. Either way, I'm less than amused. Well, fine. I'll take one of your budget items, then. Like this one. <laughs> ah, my old... Uh, silver armlet is quite rare treasure. I'll part with it for... Yeah, 10,000. All right, fine. <laughs> ah, my used condom. <laughs> 10,000 gilder. <laughs> oh, you're just insane. <laughs> I think the village is north of you. Oh, okay. I could be wrong, but... Well, who knows what's north of anything, really, these days. That's true. <laughs> if you keep going far enough north, eventually you'll be south. Yeah. If you go far enough north, you just end up where you were. Since you're... Oh, wait. Oh, no. This wasn't you. Who was the guy? I can't remember. He'll show up. <laughs> Since your arrival, many of us have perished. A coincidence, Alundra? No. <laughs> A curse. Who's this child? <laughs> Mmm, I'm dead! <laughs> A curse brought upon us the moment you arrived! You are an angel of death! A devourer of souls! Can you tell that to Sarah? I, I think that might be my in. <laughs> Leave this village at once! Or you can help me with my math homework! <laughs> Mommy said either's acceptable! <laughs> if you were truly a devil... <laughs> <laughs> this village would have been reduced to rubble long ago. I'm sure Giles will realize his error. <laughs> now I have a dog on the couch. <laughs> A dog on the couch? A dog on the couch? There's a dog! I'll be right back. I gotta see this fucking dog. There he is. Look at that fucking dog. Yeah, it's a dog. Hey, dog. Come here, let me cut you. <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> oh, he woofing. Because he's a fucking dog. Uh, he's heckin' borkin'. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, uh, let's go find some more fucking puppers. Yeah, puppers, dogs, <laughs> and uh, buffers. <laughs> Among Us! 